When people see my art, I want them to ask questions. There are times when important stories are written with pencils that spell no words. Specifically, I want them to consider what they don't see when just looking at someone. In this case, a story that is too often invisible. I'm Mei Ling Kopecky. I'm an artist and multiple sclerosis activist. Mei Ling sketches and paints her own realism with MS. I don't look sick, but I am. No one can see Mei Ling's brain disease, so she draws it. The brain fog, the fatigue. And this was what I um, did, at least for my head, where facial paralysis, which I did have. At a certain Along with the double vision, the migraines, even the paintings of her brain scans. I wanted to show just the progression of damage. So as you can see in 2010, there's fewer lesions than there were in 2020. I find her work um, exceptionally beautiful. Mayo Clinic neurologist Jamendel Tillema diagnosed Mei Ling with MS when she was just 15. Already on her artistic journey, she used this very room as the scene for one of her best-known paintings called Welcome Back. But it carries the, you know, the emotions that I can imagine and uh, the, the sentiment that I can imagine. And her titles reflect that quite clearly of um, the process of going through the visits here. Titles such as Peppermint and Productivity blood work, and familiarity and comfort. They're all paintings depicting the realism of the spaces at Mayo that give her peace. It's not scary. I'm here again. Hi, everyone. Uh, and I felt very welcomed. It is why the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. just named Mei Ling one of the best young artists in the country. Two of her sketches, including Double Vision, are now on a national tour. It's another form of language, really. It's a visual language. And that language of MS is on full display at the Plymouth Community Art Gallery. I've received comments like, oh my gosh, like that's what that looks like. All from a young woman who doesn't run from her disease, but shares it one pencil stroke at a time. It's been a lifelong love, and I don't see that ever going away. In Plymouth, I'm Tim Blotz, Fox 9.